In recent times, traveling via public transport can be described as a nightmare during this COVID-19 pandemic period. Many wonder if it is safe to be in these vehicles, especially when public gatherings have been banned and commercial vehicles are said to be high-risk zones in terms of the virus. Nonetheless, transport operators have commenced business in earnest at the VIP John Transport Terminal within the Kwame Nkrumah Circle Enclave. The general manager of VIP John Transport, Ernest Adakabre Frimpon Manson, outlined the processes passengers went through before boarding the bus. Given the current situation and our commitments uh, towards protecting public health, we have suspended the use of the 50-seater buses and are just uh, using the 30-seater executive buses that in our uh, estimation meets the criteria for the uh, social and physical distancing. And we've added the added uh, a protocol of no nose mask. Uh, you can't, you won't be issued with a ticket to enter our coach. And for that matter, we go through the protocol of uh, you having to wash your hands with soap and running water and then uh, with a clean tissue and then you use your sanitizers and we have assistance from the men and women of the Ghana Police Service who also help us at the entrance of the bus to ensure that you are wearing your nose mask before you are I mean, allowed onto the coach. Some of the passengers shared their experiences with City News. When I came here, they told me to go and wash my hand and they have the soup and the water, everything is there. So I washed my hand and after washing my hand, the policeman checked that everything is clean. And when I, he checked and everything was clean, I bought my ticket. And he goes, now you can have a, a lot of breathing inside because a lot of space in the car. So you can breathe well. I came with my nose marks from the house. I have my hand sanitizer. I washed my hand. So I don't think, I wasn't approached anyway. You mentioned about the sanitizer. I think it will be fine if they have it at the entrance, especially at the bus stops, people will be getting down and back up. So if it's there, it will help those who don't have to be able to sanitize before they get ready enter the bus. At the new plant station and OA travel and tour terminals, passengers were seen spaced out in the buses. However, according to officials at these terminals, the observation of the social distancing protocol is having a toll on their operations. Actually, it has not been all that well for the, the transport operators concerned by the directives that uh, we should reduce the number of passengers in our buses. If you look at a, a, a bus that carry like 48, 45, and now it has reduced down to 30 or 20 something, definitely it will affect. It is affecting us, but this is what we, we can also do to help the vulnerable. It reduces the uh, uh, the sales. It reduces the sales, but we don't mind. We are doing it. Reporting for City News. My name is Philip Nee Latte.